Alrighty. He, he's really nervous about his legs being messed with or clippers on his legs. Very jumpy, spins, twirls. So uh, we're not going to put him through all that. So I'm going to just go ahead and, because I, I don't want him to hate the groom, you know, whoever adopts him out. I don't want this to be an issue for them, you know, to hate going to the groomers. So what we're going to do is, you know, bristle brush, because the, the slicker brush seems to make him react. So we're just going to go with the softer brush, make him feel more comfortable. And get the smaller one. There you go. Gotta be very careful and go slow around that area because you know you can do a lot of damage. And then he's really gonna not like me. <laughs> I mean, he likes me, it's fine. I think he knows I'm trying to help. So, this guy, oh, we're all going with the bath. Uh, basically, just kind of took him down. I couldn't shave the legs though, so I had to go with the scissors, brush out and keep scissoring because he just was too wild for the legs. So, we scissored the legs. Um, you know, this side kind of looks alright, kind of blended it in, so it looks like it's kind of natural. And then this side doesn't look too good because right here there's a shave mark and I didn't do that. You know, it's not red or anything, so that means like, that was just shaved right there, I guess. So I had to kick it a little further on this side, but I still try to blend it, you know. So it doesn't look too bad on that side. I had to scissor the tail, because you know. He wasn't too cool with the clippers back there. Okay, <coughs> He's kind of being jumpy for the head too, see? Very jumpy. It's okay, you're all right. him so gently is because it, it allows him to relax because he knows that I'm not trying to do any harm because I'm not holding him tight I'm just I'm just placing him here kind of you know just kind of holding him here and he can move if he wants to so I think a lot of times that gentler approach is a lot better because even though it might take a little longer and you get better results. And also, the more he learns to trust this, the easier and easier it gets and the faster you can do things. But, you know, I think we should earn the right to do that fast. First, go slow. I don't really like cutting into the cheeks here, but unfortunately, because there was those mats that we had cut out before the bath, you know, <laughs> cutting a little bit just so it blends a little bit better. Yeah, just do the best we can. since you're filming. Uh, hair like this, I mean, here's what hand, hand stripping means. Hand stripping is just a fancy word to say hand plucking, like plucking out hairs that are too long or, you know, shaping the body, shaping the dog by pulling out the longer hairs, basically is what hand stripping is. So just kind of hold the skin so it doesn't hurt too much when you pull it out. and. Usually with chalk it works a little better. I mean, well, with chalk it does definitely work better, but see, there you go. So now we shape the ear, got rid of those long hairs with no scissors, and now you have a natural look. And that's what hand stripping is about, achieving a natural look and basically sculpting the shape that you want with your hands. 
Wow. That's hand stripping. Right there. <clears throat> and then we'll do the other side to match it. <clears throat> And we'll scissor the front legs and he's done. So you don't want to grab big chunks, you know, so that was bad. As soon as I, I tugged his ear, I, you know, let off because you don't want to tug a big chunk of hair. You're just trying to pull out a few hairs at a time. There you go, bam. Ear shaped. And now his ear canals are all clear. All right. Now I'll shape his beard a little bit. Snapped him out of it. I mean, he was exhausted. He was worn out. Just worn out. <laughs> Doesn't have to do it. Stop it, buddy. You don't have to do that, okay? Man, it's yours. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> I think humping pillows or dog beds is frowned upon in the office place. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't get away with that at Dell. Did he help it again? He did, yeah. Like he can't help it, you know, he's so tired. He doesn't want to do it. He just has to do it. Oh my god. But he keeps going back to it. Yeah. Why? Like a love crazed <laughs> terrier. <laughs> Literally. He's still humping as he's walking away. <laughs> and it's determination. Stop. See the spot right there, but that's not even, but I'm gonna just let it go. That's dangerous. <coughs> okay. There's some more right there I can pull up. Anyways. Okay, guys. Uh, this is Basil. I mean, I mean, this is Grady. 
He is all done. We gave him a little uh, terrier cut here, short back. We have the full foxtail, you know, kind of blended in the featherings and the legs. Scissor the legs a little bit to neaten them up a little bit, but wanted to keep a natural look, you know. And then we hand stripped the top of the head, kind of shaped everything nice. Look at that mug. Look at that mug. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so he's all done. Beautiful. He's up for adoption at the Small Dog Rescue. If any of you guys are interested in a beautiful little terrier mix. <coughs> Come here, Basil. Alrighty. Come here, buddy. Don't make me look bad. We'll wrestle you real quick. <laughs> this is Basil. <coughs> we did kind of a Yorkie head a little bit. I mean, if there's such thing, but you know, kind of cleaned up the visor, the eye area, but then layered everything to kind of blend in to a full mane. And then I'll move this bandana here so you guys can see. <clears throat> kind of blends right into the chest. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> and then the body. <clears throat> like I said, this side is a little bit fuller because right there, you know, there's no shave mark. And then over here, there is a shave mark. So kind of had to work with it and the rest of the body shaved down to this you know kind of give it the same look <coughs> so yeah kind of a Portuguese water dog haircut on a Yorkie ridiculous but I had to do what I had to do just what I had to work with <laughs> and he is also available at the small dog rescue if you guys want a Yorkie that has a Portuguese water dog cut <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. This is another rescue shelter day. Uh, one of my favorite days, because, you know, we get to give back and do something nice for the dogs that need it. Look at that. Beautiful, buddy. <laughs> Basil, the boy with the pink harness. Yeah, right?